Hi everyone, now I've been basically tying, I've been dying and tying a few dabblers uh, the day. Um, one I've been dying uh, some basic bronze marlin feathers, yellow, uh, to give an idea. What I do is, uh, when I buy a, a big pack of bronze marlin, it's just like a, a bulk pack, I get a lot of feathers like this, which don't have any much marking, but it's, it's a bronze marlin feather. It's ideal, it's just the wrong colour, it's grey, unless you want grey anyway. So what I do is I obviously dye these. Uh, a good colour to get uh, this one, you can see this is a cinnamon, and it makes a, makes for a great wing. Uh, one, the one I just held up there is uh, basically dyed yellow, this one. So you get a nice golden yellow colour, but this one's got a bit of, it's not too bad with the bronze mallard. But the, I wanted to dye some, so I'll show you how I use them up. I'll show you how I originally tied the uh, dabbler. Uh, just using, I'd use the one feather, and it would tie the tail, it would do everything, so I'm just going to make sure that hook's level. And I'll just straighten my camera up. There we go, I'll put my centre, there we are. Now what I'm going to do, uh, thread I'm going to be using to tie the fly is a uni thread in red. Yeah, I've waxed it, so I'm going to start at the, the eye of the hook. Now the hook I'm using is a fulling mill. This is a competition heavyweight, uh, size 10. So I'm going to come down to put tail on. Now what I do in the feather, the first thing is I do, I use a single feather. Uh, well, originally I used to, uh, there's two or three ways of tying a dabbler, but this is this is the old way I would tie it. So I would take away the fluff. Now what I would do is, that for the throat I would use the fibre, the soft fibre down the bottom here. And I would bring it out from the feather to the tips lined up and then I would tear it off and lay it at my desk. That would do the throat. The best part then is here, I would use for the wing. And again I would bring it out to the base of the tops lined up and then I would tear it off. And then for the tail I would use the top, which are ideal for tail fibres, because they, they want to separate as you can see like that. So then I would tear them off. So then I would tie these on. Round about the length, I would do the length of the hook just to balance it. Tie that on. Now this pattern I would use the thread at the back just as a, as a butt. So I'd go up and down to get a nice red. And then we basically trim this the length of the body, which should be about there. Now you've got to give yourself two or three mil at the top to tie in the hackles. Now the rib of the fly in this one was gold, so I'm using a small oval gold tinsel to so just tie that on. The length of the body, but I would quickly run up, come back down, tie in the body. And this, this, the body of this fly I'm using. It's a colour I called honey olive. Now it's a yellow olive blend. So it's a yellow blended through an olive just to get lift it. And there's a tiny bit of flash in it, just a bit of uh, glister. It's a yellow glister or a light bright would be ideal. You can see it in there. It's just it's just a wee drop. It's enough that it just catches the light without overdoing it. So I lightly dub that on. Slide up. Now don't worry if the red's showing through, it's, it's part of the dressing, so that's why I'm using it. Run your dubbing up. So you give yourself a good 23mm from the eye, probably around about 3 more than, just to give you plenty of room. Now for the body hackle I'm using, this is a, a, a golden yellow. Uh, it's a saddle I actually I found that had a just a tiny bit of grey in the centre. It was uh, just it was nice and warm. It was a creamy colour, but with a, a warm centre. And I, when I dyed it this golden yellow, I got this nice colour. So anyway, tie one of the feathers in. Just catch it with two or three turns. I can fold back the stem because it's so thin. If you can do that, then fold it back. It's nice and strong. Now the soft fibres down the base there, I want I want to use them up at the top, a couple of turns. And then I'm going to quickly come through the body, meaning the seal spur. Just come onto my rib, 
de la tente de de la tente 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 And just break off. Just break the tip of that uh, feather away. Just going to tie in the cut end of the oval tinsel. Now you wax your thread. Now when you tie in a partridge feather dyed, these are just hot orange. They're not the best mark feathers, but they're very good. You can see there's a nice mark on it, and that's what I'm wanting. Uh, these are not the best feathers, I say, but they're ideal once you dye them. You can use a small orange hen or a cock hackle, it's up to yourself. I'm just basically using up a bit of waste. So I've basically revealed the tip, cut away what I don't need. Tie this in. Use the hackle pliers. Uh, I'll use up the hackle probably because it's, we'll see what it's like. I mean, you could do a turn or two, depending on how good the quality it is. Or how much space you've got. But the, the orange works, uh, as you see, I've just used it up. And then catch in the stem, make sure it's secure. Nice and tight. That's fine. See how it's sitting. Roll it a bit just to take it back. That's fine, I'll do it. Now we get back to our, our bronze mallard, the fibres, so we've got the, the soft, uh, basically the bottom of the feather fibres. So, what I do is I fold this because it's about maybe what, 15 mil or so wide, and I just fold it and then we tie it as I, as I throw it. So. You're looking for, a, I usually look at round about fibre length about to the, the the barb of the hook. So I just pinch a loop underneath, catch it with two or three turns. And see how it's sitting now, you can just flare it out with your, your nail. You can see that. That's fine. And make sure it's secure before you trim away. Now when you're trimming away the fibre here, just use your finger to hold the thread out of the way. And then come in with the tips of the sails underneath the trim. Now we've got the, the best part of that feather, the bronze mild feather I had. And then you can fold this or you can just tie it on like much like a, I just basically set it on the top so it's about, uh, this one here is probably slightly more than, it's about near two centimetres or so. Uh, just tie that on the top so we just get the length of the, the tail usually. Just slightly longer, not much. Fold it and then pinch and loop. Two or three turns on top. See how it's sitting. Just gonna roll it. That's fine, that'll do the job. Trim that away. Wax on with thread, stretch out to the the eye, and then I work. I take the thread to the eye and then just build the thread up into the cut ends. You'll have quite a big head if you've left enough space. And uh, there you go, that's basically, I mean, that'd make a good fly in itself. Uh, but one, you put jungle cock on and some dubbing. Now, I've got some split jungle cock here, just looking for a. There's plenty of split. They're always split jungle cock, so I keep these for these flies. Now, the split I'm going to show you is, is there, there's the jungle cock. Uh, I'm going to take the split a wee bit further down. Just be careful. You can take it down into the black area, I'm just going to show you. So basically the eye was split up the top, but I've cut further down into it, onto the black part of the, the feather. Take away the fluff, or away the fibres at the side. And then I'm going to use the wing to separate these fibres, so I'm just going to bring it down with my finger and thumb either side. And come round with a couple of turns just to see how it's going to sit. Now, 
that's quite straight this side, this side's sitting slightly up so I'm going to go back, I want it slightly up so you can always go back, position them to suit yourself uh, your side doesn't want it to sit so we just have to be persevere and get it to sit right so I'm just going to move them about a wee bit and just bring them slightly closer to together see if I can get it to sit better Right, that's a wee bit better, that's fine. Once you're happy, just take the thread down, fold the jungle cock back, the stem, and then tidy up a few turns. Now you could finish off again, but it's the dubbing I used, the same dubbing that I used in the, the body of the fly. I'm just going to put some on, make sure I've got a wee touch of flash. In it. So you can see where the thread's sitting. I'm going to wind the thread from this point up. Now there, there's some good tying methods within this fly you could always use on your own for other flies. Now these dubbed heads are work extremely well. Uh, I've used it one of the the McPhail Mayfly, as they call it, has a dubbed head, and it was one of the first flies I ever did like that, and it's a very popular fly. And now, what I'm going to do is finish. And they want to, I want to see the red head, so a few turns in there. Trim away. Just bring out my jungle cut, uh, my bronze mallard. Once, once you start to fish it, you get a nice shape into the fly. Stroke it back. It's a good colour. This uh, a few locks this fish is. It's very. There's a fly I call the Carson. This is a slight variant of that fly. It's almost a varnish the head. A couple of coats would make it last longer, but one's fine. So there we are. That's uh, how to how so I use up the bronze mallard, the, the, these sort of badly marked feathers. Quite a few. Some are actually not too bad. Uh, having a mix of them, see the smaller ones here. See, like, you can use these up and uh, blend them in with your feathers. And we fly so and they work a, uh, a treat because they are really bronze mild feathers without any decent marks on them, but they still work. Uh, here's one, as I say, that's uh, the one dyed cinnamon. Cinnamon is a nice colour. When you see this on the fly, I mean, you've got all this fibre, it's got all a nice colour of uh, a bronze mild there. Just normally you just have near the tip here, but you've got it all the way down so you can use it all up. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I say you'll get a few tying methods in there. Uh, as a, a loch style fly, it fishes really well, this style of fly in the lochs. Here in the UK and Ireland, especially Ireland. If you're going to, if you're going to Ireland, this is, a, this is a good pattern to have. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, if you enjoy the videos, and if you haven't subscribed, please do, it, it, it does help. And thank you for watching.